yet again. Not only am I wearing one denim and double denim, but also a triple denim. You can't see my leg. A triple oh, denim. <laughs> I really should have adjusted this angle so that you could see the dirty denim of my jeans. So I'm wearing jeans. There's a plane, a glider plane going overhead. I quite like its lulling sounds. one which is a one I've bought recently which is a reusable 
Scott's Swiss Care face mask, which, I'm, you know, I, I haven't actually worn it down, but I've worn it a little bit. Um, but it says that it's only two layers. It's two layers. It says it's only two layers, which, while being better than nothing, I think isn't quite, isn't quite enough protection, is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it would have to almost be... It feels thicker than the medical throwaway ones. We got a whole pack, box of these. My family did. Um, uh, but this, this one, I think it makes me look more like Bane and I'm all for that. <laughs> I'm all for looking like Denim Bane.
Beyonce, let me undo the buttons.
his warmth. Painting warmth. <laughs> oh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I was here to show you my denim. And the sounds that they make with its plate. It's got a plate. It's got a plate here. It's pleated. It's got this plate here. This plate that comes down the front of the shirt there. It comes right down the front of this big plate. But because I never iron, because I never iron, it, it only goes to about here. <laughs> and then it starts to just dissipate but when you iron your shirts you iron the pleats in like that and then it has this really nice structure and flow um, sort of at the same time you know the aeroplane is back so that aeroplanes are really cool around here they don't come very often but when they do um, they hang around a little bit because there's an airport just over there there's this little airport and Airport has um, gliders. It's for the gliding people, and they've got this one aeroplane, and they tow the glider behind the aeroplane, so the aeroplane will be flying along, and then the glider is on a little string. It's on a string. The glider is hanging on a string to the back of the aeroplane, so as the aeroplane comes up, the glider also goes up, and then eventually the aeroplane or the glider—I don't know who's got control. Um, detaches and the plane flies way back down home and the glider just continues to glide, glide, glide. and the gliders are absolutely silent they're beautiful they just hang up in the sky like these big white still birds and when they turn side on when they turn side on they vanish they disappear you can't see them and then it, it takes a second or two to try and locate them again because they they just like disappear out of your line of sight when they turn on certain angles and sometimes on sunny days when the sun glides on them they just shine this beautiful uh, Edward in the sunshine shine um, and yeah so they they come usually on the weekends but I love watching them there's this one pilot in particular who's really uh, good he seems to do a lot of uh, trick shots and stuff so he the other day he, he was gliding along and he went up down and out or something. I don't know. There's also one where he went like upside down and then back again. It was crazy. Like those things don't have motors. Actually, there is one. Not his, but there is a glider around here that does have a motor on it, um, which is like I don't know. I guess just a very small plane. Like really, really small. Like a like like a plane with like a glider with a small engine on it. But it yeah, it's it's not real glider and it's not like a real plane. It's just like a mini mesh. A mini of the two. It's like a mini mash. It is the monster mash. They do the mash. Um, but it's pretty cool too. It's slightly noisier, but that's not really a problem. I don't mind listening to them because I know they're there and then I go out and watch them usually. It's pretty cool. They usually fly on Sundays.
here I'm like, oh, I need to look up the weather. I want to look out the window. I want to see. I want to know. And I'll be like, you know, aware if there's going to be a frost tonight or not. Whereas in the city, I just, it, I lose that. I don't have that, that intuition or that idea as to want to know. I don't just know these things. Like, I don't look it up. I don't think about it. I don't think about it. I don't think about it. And I think that's a really good grounding thing about being for me and my mental health and stuff is to have things to think about all the time that are like nice and happy and then just like about the season and what birds are at my window and just little things like that that are really nice. I got to take some photos the other day of some gang gang cockatoos and oh so cool they're so beautiful I really felt alive in that moment you know like like I really felt good and that's the first time I felt like truly like oh yeah how good is this in quite some time. I think I should be a nature photographer. I probably should do that. <laughs> I mean, I am that. I do do that. But I did just enter a competition, actually, with three, 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 three of my images. Um, one of the gang gang I took the other day, one of a, uh, of Henry, 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 Wesley. of Henry, the wombat, and one of, um, two eagles, two eagles eating a wallaby that they had they had caught. So, anyway, yes, I'm running out of rambles. I'm running out of rambles. I'm running out of rambles. That doesn't happen to me. I like denim. I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing double. show you I was just like I could make a video of this I want to show you I want to show you I'd like to show you I'd like to show you my denim because it makes good scratchy sounds do you ever buy clothes because of the way that they sound or the way that they feel See you real soon.